Hi again. Well, um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I was just trying to explain to you that uh, there was something wrong with the line, and then obviously it got. <laughs> and you were you were you were very right in assuming that there was something wrong with the line. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but um, what can we say other than congratulations? I'm sure you've heard it a thousand times already. Oh, no. um, yeah, well, I, I don't know what to say, uh, apart from thank you, and uh, I appreciate it. Obviously, in some respects, I'm sure you had plans for this record, but um, I'm sure you couldn't, have, you couldn't have anticipated the kind of response that this record has enjoyed. We, um, in all honesty, and we are honest people, we, we didn't have any expectations um, whatsoever. Uh, when we released this, uh, this album, mm. um, we did have one ambition, and uh, our main ambition was basically to make the, uh, the record uh, and sort of everything that has come after existence until today a bonus. Mm. So we are very uh, pleased and excited and thankful. I mean, there was. The, the, I think every artist battles with that, though. Is that I mean, especially probably in your case as well. There was no way that you could. You believed in the songs that you were you were putting together, but beyond that, you don't know, do you? You you push it out there and you hope that it connects. Exactly. I mean, it, it's um, uh, as I said in in, um, in the beginning and and still, obviously, there's one um, thing we hoped for was to, to manage to. Uh, to get our ass together and, and release the music, mm. making it. Um, the <laughs> well, one thing one can't predict is obviously what, what people will enjoy. Sure. Yeah, there are millions of examples where like good music is not getting through. Mm. And uh, obviously, they are quite in a subtle way managed to say that our music is true. Mm. Uh, but uh, but uh, still, the, um, considering the fact that we are true. I'm Norwegian, uh, sorry, I'm a Norwegian unknown artist, mm. a Norwegian name, mm. would, well, to me, it's, I'm, I'm very impressed and I'm amazed by the, uh, I'll just call it success of the album. What do you think it was, though, about the record that made it jump from just being, a, you know, a relatively successful record to being, you know, the, the, the phenomenon that it's become? Hmm. I wish I had something very intelligent. <laughs> I, I really do not know. Uh, yeah. One might be cynical and suggest that it's, it's just a um, media created uh, thing, or it might be a high trust kind of thing mm. created by a record company. I do not know. Mm. Uh, the one thing I do know, though, is um, it has been quite some time from its uh, release. Mm. Is the, the, the level it's reached now. Mm. Um, it might be fair to, to say or suggest that the, the, the phenomenon we call uh, word of mouth has been. Mm. Mm. I, I think I think this is um, the kind of album that will be um, sort of spread by people listening to it and then telling fans that oh my god, this album is quite enjoyable. It's just been traveling like, like that. It has been taken It didn't happen overnight. So, sure. Um, which, which I mean, it's, it's just, if anything, very, a very good thing. So, so uh, that's, that's the only thing I, I can say about it. And I mean, you you guys have been together for, you know, well, certainly as, as Royx got certainly since the, well, the last five years. So you're not a new band or not, a, new, a new group, as it were. Um, well, it, it's... Um, of us and we have been um, sort of, well, to some extent been involved or making music, it's very hard to say when you actually start to make music, but sure. we, we have uh, been, been involved in uh, music in some extent ever since we were like uh, 14, I would say. Okay. Uh, 15, which is one year older than from the first keyboard and so on. Um, right. And we have been doing different projects with different people. Um, the way something happened in 1998 or so when, when, we, um, when we moved to, um, to Bergen, which we live in now, in, in, uh, on the west coast of Norway. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, we've, we've just 
that's why we started to make the music for the right of music from prior to that we have been making strictly house music okay. and we had also just been making music that was sort of experimental ambient music mm. and whereas through the right of thing we just uh, different music background mm. together and also the others uh, have to be more to traditional songwriting approach to it. Right. Yeah, because I think mean, you've certainly done that as a band, haven't you? You've you're rewriting the rules of, of how this sort of music is well you've commercialized another strain, I suppose. Uh, well not just that. I, we didn't we didn't know that it would have a commercial that we do be obviously of the pop element. Mm. We, we ourselves we listen to well we listen to all sorts of music. Sure. So just just pop music. Mm. So I think the um, the uh, <laughs> there are different layers to our music and I think the uh, the somewhat the much just that that there are pop elements that the melodies and harmonies that mm. They're not very like oh, so they are fairly familiar and sort of I've heard it before, but I can't sort of really say it. Yes, 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 true. There, is, there are textures in the music that sort of, if you go beyond that, um, there is a sort of subtle thing uh, and detail with this, with this, this kind of thing. You after you've listened to the track for the fifth or sixth time, mm. you start listening to all the different. I mean, I mean, it must be a nice place for you to be now, um, 
and also quite scary as well because um, you've probably got more people wanting to talk to you and wanting a, a piece of you than ever before. Um, but people also have an expectation of you now because they've lived with the, you know, with certainly with Melody for you know um, for long enough for th for them to to not judge you but sort of say, okay, well, this was great. Um, give us more. And so, how, how do you top yourselves? I mean, if we're now in a position that, well, it's probably a, a classical uh, situation for, for for newcomers in, in, in music. Mm. The, um, it's the, the follow-up or the second album, and then obviously you have to with the third album and so on. Mm. So we sort of have a stop. But I think we um, we um, can look beyond that, and uh, we just we'll just say where we were before we released the album at the AM. Yes. At that point, we, as I said earlier on, we didn't, we didn't have any, any ambitions or anything. No master plan. No, no master plan. Uh, so we, we, just, we just did it. Mm. And what we will probably try to do is, is try to go back there and just not listen to anyone and just make mm. it. And uh, we, we left um, all the people decide whether they like it or not. But the most important thing for us is to not rush it and not just run out now and sort of, oh, we need to release an album ASAP again. And then a year after that, go, oh, shit, they were so bad. We didn't have time on it. So what we're going to do is just basically take our time and, and, and hold back and, and wait until we're happy with, with the album. What, what has changed, if anything, between, you know, between you know, Roik's up as we know to Roik's up when it's, you know, when you guys first put it together. Has it changed radically? I think what has changed the most to us is the people around us. Mm. Um, somehow, and obviously there's a few that have pointed out, there are more people surrounding us now, mm. waiting and wanting something. Mm. Mm. Uh, which is a situation that we are not too familiar with. Mm. When we attached to it, like ten years ago, we nobody would know how to do that. Yeah, and didn't care. Mm. Yeah, exactly. They didn't care. Mm. Which, which has changed now. Uh, mm. We are, we are still the same. Mm. People were just as, I don't know, if anything. We're, we're the same uh, people with with the same uh, sort of approach to life. Okay. Uh, we're just as extravagant uh, and hedonistic as we. <laughs> I mean, we, we haven't changed. That's so, fantastic, uh, though. Yeah. So, so, uh, so it's, um, it's, it's to us, it's, it's people around us. Yes. Yeah. More than anything. So no one, no one can accuse you of those things because, like you say, you were, you were always that way. Exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. We just, uh, we just try to maintain. And, and, uh, yeah, and most of us are happy with what we're doing. Yeah. And I, I thought as soon as it starts getting not funny anymore, is we'll probably just stop and do something else. Mm. Do, you, do, you think, do you think people understood what it was that you were trying to achieve with this record? I mean, obviously everybody gets something from your music, but mm. do you think they actually understand what it's all about? Or does it I, matter? It's, uh, it's, it's, um, how to say it's very it's very discussion. We we don't uh, we we will not be the ones to dictate or, or judge people on their perception of our music. Yes. Because I've seen so many in the beginning when it was released, I I read the reviews and so on. I, I don't really do that anymore. Mm. Um, and I just saw that there definitely was some sort of confusion about what it was. Mm. Because in some papers they would say, Oh, this is very new and fresh pop music, whereas other people would say this is a very nice, um, trendy kind of club album and so on. It, it, mm. There is definitely a, a, um, a, some sort of confusion, which for us is good, because that means sure. that we've made something that people can't really just place and go. Attest them. Yeah. You can't really be, be la we didn't really get labeled that, that to, although some people say that it, it was, what we have made was Mm. I think it might be a bit unfair. Yes, and, I think um, so. So, I mean, I believe that that uh, 
people should be free to call it and judge it mm. however they want. We will not be the one who is saying this is the one the purpose of the album. So fix it. This is what we want. To yes. I mean, <clears throat> if of anyone who you are um, a fan of, um, have you? Is there anyone that stands out that has? maybe acknowledged your record and that it, it meant, I mean, it's obviously it means a lot to you that you have a fan base that loves what you do, but is there somebody that you perhaps look look up to um, that has acknowledged your music and, and this record in any particular way? Um, I've said it, I, I think it's because I might sound very uh, uh, sort of, I don't know, shallow and, and blasé right now, but we mm. We don't really have anyone as of now that we sort of look up to and go, oh, uh, yeah. I really like what you do, I wish you liked what you did. Mm. Um, what, what to say? I, I, I know that we, uh, we, uh, we went there and uh, approached at some point by, by Crossword. Okay. Which, which on its own is like, it's more funny than anything because these are guys that we looked up to when we were kids. For sure. And obviously the part of music is the part that we were in some case, and it's not music at all. Mm. Um, I remember at some point we got, um, we got the, I got compliments from Sorrel Williams from, from Matthew. Okay. My shoes. <laughs> Your shoes. <laughs> Okay. Great. Well, thank you again. Well, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye, -bye.